Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. It shall be. I'm Baron. And we're still in the bridge district. But we solved some problems in the last video. So let's get on. Who are you? Are you interested? We go. Another beggar. Excuse me, might you have a coin to spare my poor venerable mother? She would ask for herself, but she lays in a cold, cold room, nearly sick to her death, alas. She's sick as she perhaps you could bring her bring me to her. I might be able to offer her some help. You could just say no, you know. Always has to be me that runs into them good Samaritan times. Haha, <laughs> he doesn't have a mother probably. What's going on here? Honorable men are hard to come by. We shall not allow you to continue your depredations here, Rindus. Take your man and be gone. Your smuggling will be tolerated no longer. Tolerated, eh? You better be able to back up your words, big man. You're going to die trying to take my turf. We have no interest in your turf, Rindus. And it is only proof of your limited mind that you think this is so. Ha! Huh. What are you trying to convince me? That you're still part of the order, eh, Reynold? You still think you're some kind of goody goody paladin, eh? You know what I hear? I hear you lost your paladin hood due to some moxie that seduced and used you like a patsy. What was her name now? Celestine, wasn't it? You know nothing of a fool, and while I may no longer meet the order standards, I'll not stand by or listen to a cur such as you cheaping Celestine's name. Okay, we have a battle here. Paladins versus smugglers. Or fallen paladins versus smugglers. Um, do we take a side? No. I stand ready. What can you do? Oh. Okay, apparently those guys are evil. Yes? A dangerous mistake. What did we get? Someone died. One or twenty. Okay. You have a plan. What is my task? Oh, I am no, yours it to show them as my evil friend. anymore. On my honor. But we now know that those guys are evil. Plan to blade in your inner side. By my honor, you shall not see another day. Well, I don't know about the fallen, fallen, fallen paladins. Honorable men are hard to come by. At least uh, they are not evil. Greetings to you, friend. I'm grateful for your aid against these dogs and would know your name if you're willing to give it. I'm Havich Blomi. Well met, Havich Blomi. I'm Reynold de Chantillon, once of the Order and now under the leadership of Anarch. Might you be interested in employment? How did you come to leave the order, if I might ask? There are several of us here who, for one reason or another, are unworthy of the vows we must took. We do not share the particulars of our downfall. I would not expect one who is not fallen to understand. We seek the solace of each other's company because we come from the same place. Regardless, we find ourselves in need of aid and you fight well. Might you be interested in helping us? I might be. As for the task, 
When Anarch left the Order, the Pelopins stripped his cup from him. The cup is important to him. Perhaps he could retrieve it. Well, we'll find this cup. Find the most noble order of the Radiant Heart in the Temple District. The cup is within their building. You shall be rewarded admirably for its return. Well, we'll go now and retrieve this cup for you. Although it hardly seems a test of our abilities. You'd best be prepared to order a strongly defended. I myself would die quickly if I stepped uh, near their hall. I wish you well, my lord. But one question before you leave. The war warrior who stands with you, he bears a most remarkable resemblance to Sir Keldon Firecam. It has been so long. I am not the one you seek, Reynard de Chantillon. You are mistaken. I feel pity for one who has been reduced to pettiness and evil. No more. I see. Forgive me then. I received so little news of the order. It does not matter. I wish you well, my lord, and hope to see you soon. Okay. So we found the fallen paladins. Consider it done. Let's see what we get loot wise here. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, something. What's that? Bernard Boots. Do we need them? Do they do? Boots are normally handmade by cobblers. Common boots are made by using a form, but good boots are designed for the food of an individual. No shit. Really? Okay. They have nothing that we need. Did we get a new quest? No, not really. So, where was that artist, that uh, sculpture? I think he was in the... What up? What's up? Why don't you use the exit? Oh, okay, I think he was in the government district. Was he? Or was he in the temple district? Nah, probably not. Oh, to taste the airs of home. It has been a long time since I have passed this way. Home? But I thought you maintained your quarter at the Radiant Heart. My attendance of the order is... It is oft required, but my servants maintain an estate in this district. It is there that I visit my wife and daughters. Would you like to come? I shall introduce you. I would like that. Very well. I shall point it out to you as we pass its gates. As I said, it has been far too long since I last walked these streets. Okay. Uh, temple, temple. <laughs> Fire camera estate, that's probably it. Yusuf estate. I'm pretty sure we have to go down here. But before we go there, we should go to the Council of the Six. I will do my best. Because we have that head. Yes. Cornell. Speak up. Speak up. No. Um. Bulena. Correct, Exhale. No Maybe you. you. Is there a reason you are here? No. You should make an appointment to request an audience. Or speak directly with Officer Rowanor. Officer Rowanor. You are more than welcome in my sight. Oh. 
I have the head of a criminal here, a gnome by the name of Nap. Is it you that I should be talking to? What? You have... Ah. Oh, that is an actual head, isn't it? Er, I suggest you bring it to Inspector Brega. He can deal with it, I'm sure. Inspector Brega. For the glory of arm. Yeah, yeah. Bingo. Is there something that you need, citizen? I have the head of the child killer Neb. He is dead and will bother you. N will bother no one any longer. Let's see what you have there. Yes, despite the uh, uh, condition of the head, it's obviously criminal we've been seeking. You have no idea what a despicable creature this Neb was, or perhaps you do. Regardless, we are thankful for your help. I hope this reward is sufficient. I understand the Flaming Fist was looking for him as well. I'll send them a note explaining your deeds so they can stop looking now. Thank you again, citizen. Well done. So we got. I what? approve heartily of the path that has been taken so far. Two thousand five hundred. No trouble out of you. Upheld. No experience though. But at least we are rid of the head. Ah, uh, we are all heroes. You must gather you your party. And I know, everybody's so happy. And now to the Yusuf estate. At least we don't get bothered by vampires this time. It's day. Very well. And unless they are wearing that strange I'm ring, so happy you brought they me can't walk you. in daylight. I never imagined that but we would be Angel doing such great that ring, things. So. Hmm. That should have been the end. And I really hope uh, that Ari is happy again. I mean, it, it really, it really hurt to put her down in the last video. I mean, she's like a sister, or you know, a, a daughter to me. I, I don't really have, as a hey, but doesn't really have feelings for her, like you know, to a Done. woman that one loves. But still, she has a very troubled time and. Uh, Hayward really wants to make her, you know, feel better, feel happy about it, everything, and you know, that she loves life again. And it really puts me down if I have to hurt her. So, Sir Salts, you never guess what I have in my inventory. Oh, do go away. Well, I did not expect to see you back here so soon. Perhaps next time I should request to work only in Bloodforge Meteoric Adamantite. Ah, Elysium Ore is in its rawest form. Can you feel the primal energy wafting off of it? It practically screams for a firm hand to shape it, mold it, caress it. Er, yes, well, you have met my demands. I will work for your lord and compose a fitting tribute to his glory, or some such. My muse will decide. Mm, I thank you on behalf of the followers of Hell. Our business is concluded. The piece will be delivered when it is done. I will dispatch a messenger to collect my fee and tell your church of my decision. Awesome. Yeah. So, well, after Haywood told Ari that he doesn't love her, and then she decided, you know, to sleep separate from the rest of the party. That's really sad. I, I think maybe during the course of the day, uh, As you ask. she will become Minsk's witch because Dinah here is dead. That would be nice. We shall see. Maybe that will happen. Okay, so we go to uh, Firecam Estate. Wait, where is the entrance to that? Here.
Ah, here at long last is my estate. The servants have tended to it well this past while. Yes, they have. So, the question is... Okay, we go in. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Hey, where are you going? In here. Duty calls, I see. Ah, Peony, you have done a fine job with the flowers out front. Where is your mistress? Why, not Caldon, it has been well over a month since I last saw your face. And it has been as long since I have seen my lady. Come, girl, is Maria about? Oh, certainly, Lord Caldon. Lady Maria is, is in her chamber. I, I will fetch her for you. If you could, Peony, and the girls, too. My lady, Lord Caldon has returned. Sweet Vesper. How is your schoolwork coming? The priests are still kind to you for my sake? Yes, father. Good, good. That's good to hear. And Leona, the boys are letting you play with them now? They're not teasing you anymore? Not when the priests are there to hear it. Good, good. That's good. Mother, can we go now? Of course, dears. Go on back to the sitting room while your father and I talk. Uh, that's not the reaction I would expect of two daughters when they see their father. So, who are these? Heathen you converted in Calimport? Traveling pilgrims you stumbled across in Seradouche? Maria, this is Haywood Chablomi. We are searching for his childhood companion who... I don't care, Caldon. It has been two months since you were here last, and then it was barely for a day. Not even enough to leave your scent about this place. The work of the Order must be done, Maria. You know, if I had my choice, I would be here. You would? Would you really? The guildhouse is right here in the city, but even then I never see you. It's always radiant hot this, radiant hot that. What about me? What about my heart, Keldorn? What if I don't love you anymore? Maria! What if the girls can't live without a father anymore? What if I can't live without a husband? You, you do not love me anymore? I, I have always loved you and I always shall. However well I hide it, every day I spend without you is a day that's lost forever. I love you like I love the church, but the church is the harsher taskmaster. We knew that when we married. I know, I know, and I love you in the same fashion with all my heart. But if we have love, Maria, what could ever come between us? Life? Time? I, I mean, if you have a wife. I mean, it... The concept of marriage is, is spending your life together. I, I've been seeing another man. The children and the servants already know. He, he took the girls out to the circus twice. Oh, Caldon. You, you what? What is his name? William, Sir William of Thorpe. I beg of you, don't hurt him, Caldon. If I can't have you, at least let me have something. I have the feeling we are intruding on a very private matter, Hey, which blow me. I feel uncomfortable with our intrusion. Perhaps we should leave. Go, go to your daughters. You look at... To look at you right now, Maria, to look at you is to go mad. Curse the dictates of honor. All oh, the very gods demand that I bring this case before the courts. So William shall be hung, and the love of my entire life imprisoned. There is no other outcome. Hmm. Perhaps you should talk with her. Seeing her face would drive me to madness, hey, which I blow me. To be in her presence right now is to abandon every virtue I ever held sacred. I would become a blood-soaked beast and damn my soul the abyss to the abyss i mean well but 
You mean well, but this is not an option. Hmm. Then let us bestow some justice, or go? Do we go to the courts? I don't think that killing him is the right solution. I mean, if they talked, maybe they could get s could do something. But I guess that does not sound like they're going to have a chat or a conversation. That sounds like they're going to kill him. Then we must give testimony to the courts. Come, I shall be at your side. No, no, this is a task you must face alone. Oh, I am already so weary, but I know I shall not rest until the deed is done. Meet me back at my order in three hours, and if the gods are willing, this nightmare shall be over. Uh, wait, uh, you have stuff in your inventory. I should have gone to the shop first and sold. Ah, damn it. Let's not do this right now. Yes? I take a look at his inventory. He's carrying lots of items. Um, that I don't want to lose right now, so no. It shall be. We do that later. Look ye all upon this foul drow that we have bound before ye, a creature of evil and darkness, my brethren. A creature of foulness and deceit, bent only on our destruction. What the fuck? This creature has foolishly come amongst us, my brethren, thinking that we would be lax in our senses. Tell me what should be done with it. Burn it! Well, <laughs> she's a witch. <laughs> she looks like one. <laughs> no. I burned the elf. Her dark and fiendish kin rose up from their underground homes and killed my father and brother. They are all evil, I tell you, all of them. Ever met Tritzt? Then the drow shall burn. Gather round, my brethren, and witness the will of Bashava triumph over foul evil. A drow elf? Here? One must wonder what plot the Dark Ones have in store. It appears justice is about to be laid. May its black and evil heart charm to powder. You Riven are mad. I have done nothing to any of you. I seek only to make my way without molestation. Why have you done this? Why? It is as I feared. Done nothing? You are a drow elf, are you not? That is as good a reason as any. No, that's guilt by, uh, how do you say it? Guilt by association? Ye shall be silent, evil one! The power of the maid of misrule will be demonstrated here today! Not if I can help it. Burn her now! Burn her! No! Now! Olaf Blindial! Spout your evil speech if ye must drow, but prepare yourself for your journey into the next world! Beg for forgiveness! Beg for salvation! hope that the cleansing fire will save ye I have no law for drow nor for this drow in particular but it seems that she has done nothing to deserve this fate other than simply be a drow this is not justice fuck it nature's servant awaits what is my task consider it done Shah my deliverance is in your hands wait I recognize you! Hey, would you blow me? It is I! Viconia de Vir. You must remember, my life depends on it. Please, hey, would you blow me? I beg of you, save me from these madmen. Come back. Please, I beg of you, free me. I have done nothing to deserve this treatment. Please! Okay. Um, who do we have here? Fanatic, fanatic, nobleman, noblewoman. 
Um, you see an elvish woman, a drow, tied to a stake. A mob of people stand near. The occasional shout of burner comes from the crowd. Anger and fear cross the drow's countenance. Anger and fear cross the drow's countenance. You could cut her down if you wish, but this shall surely anger the crowd. <laughs> like I give a fuck about the crowd. Praise the goddess! My thanks for your timely intervention. What are you doing? Why have ye interfered with the judgment of Besheba? Her will must be shown to the people. How about we shall show my will to the people? Allies of the foul creature. Allies of the drow. This can never be allowed. The drow dies. I don't think so. <laughs> Run for it. Insertus, Pulcher, Imperium. The enemy was something. On my arm. Fuck. Glory of arm. Great no mercy for You will fall yet. Where am I actually? Here. I no mercy for those I will do my best. A dangerous mistake. Yes, I we kill you too. To battle and victory! I owe you my life, Abiel. You have saved me once again. I did nothing to provoke their attack, I tell you. I was passing through the city when the man guessed my identity under my hood. I know. I was surprised and he called out others, revealing me. I suppose they assumed I was here to spy on them. Fools. They are so quick to fear these riven. But come, we must be on our way soon if we are to avoid drawing another crowd. I distrust these barbaric people too much to hang about. It would be both a privilege and an honor to join you, Hey Witch Blow Me. What say you to my proposal? Do not listen to the drow, hey, which blow me. You have saved her, but you are not responsible for her. She is evil, I tell you. There is no place for her, for her amongst us. And what is your place? To stand at the force, at the fore, and fling accusations. I have survived more self-righteous rival than you, and done far less harm. Silence, witch! Do not take her amongst us, hey, which blow me. I will lead only to. It will lead only to evil. I will not have it. Truth be known, I am not opposed to having Riconia travel with us. Remember, though, that many will think less of us, simply because she is here. We have saved her and she is our responsibility. What if she was captured again? Neither Boone nor I could live with ourselves. No, she must come. <laughs> I can't survive, adult one. I was taken by surprise today, but I have been among Riven secretly for quite some time. But neither do I object to traveling with you. The decision ultimately is hey, which blow me. Have a backbone, hey, which blow me. Take me with you and I will fight by your side. Together we shall vanquish all. Not... I mean, okay, she's a cleric. She's good. I mean, she's a good cleric, but you know, an evil one. But although we could change her alignment eventually. But I don't really need another cleric. Between Jahira and Ari, I have all the healing I need. I mean, I could replace Ari with her, and and then when Imran gets back, hmm. nah, not at the moment, Vikonia. Perhaps later. As you wish. I will be here a while yet. If you change your mind, here which blow me, I may be found amidst the artful monuments in the grave district. Most of the city is brimming with artless rabble. Would murder a drow as soon as draw breath or worse. Look for me amongst the dead. Okay, Viconia. Yeah, there, there are several very good, not in a moral way, but in a high quality way sort of thing. There are very good, uh, uh, several very good characters in the game. Uh, kind, you can't have them all apparently. What's that here? True sight. Mm 
bullet plus one. What is my task? But you can't just burn a drow just because he or she is a drow. No trouble out of you. Yes, no trouble out of you. Goal. Vita On my arm. Wow. I'll help however I can. I'm pretty badly hurt. Vita so we will take a break here, and in the next video we will bring, uh, we will return to the Temple of Helm uh, to get our reward, whatever, because we, you know, um, brought or you know acquired the services of that sculpture for the Temple of Helm, and then we will sell items, and then we will return to Keldorn's uh, estate. And the problem, yeah, well, we shall see what happens then. <sighs> He's a very good fighter now with a strength of 19 and dexterity of 18, constitution of 17, charisma of 18, wisdom of 16. Oh well. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.